Hey guys, we're on nice. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. I'm Michael. Guys, we're back at Restaurants. Back to the mayhem. It's gonna be crazy, bro. I have a feeling it's gonna be crazy. Episode two, which I don't know the name, and we looked hey, it up. I said episode two. It's it's episode two episode on it. Two. <laughs> so uh, I hope it plays into the story somehow. <laughs> yeah. like, it's a famous thing that happened called episode two. You know what I mean? <laughs> when we left off, that we the, the episode ended where uh, Rainy became the heir. Rhaenyra. 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 <laughs> There's so many, you know, uh, we'll get the names down. Because the Game of Thrones has always been like, difficult to get these names yeah, all down. Yeah. But Rhaenyra just became the heir of the king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Damon uh, was, uh, was cast out. He yeah. was sent to his wife. He was sent to the Vale. Yeah, uh, to the vale. In the background, there was the roaring of the dragon while she was getting thrown to be queen. That's true. So. That's true. That could mean many things, though. Yeah. We also know that uh, Otto uses his daughter as a pawn here, yeah. making a little power move on his side. Yep. What's her name again? Allison. 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 Yeah. Yep. Allison. And then we have Corliss, who still worry about the the, the trifecta. What do they call it? Oh, the trifecta. Whatever the the, the trimanga they go on that. Those yeah. like, they, they they attacking the pirate the isles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where we left off. And let's not forget the queen just passed away. Yeah, a horrible yes. death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. horrible really death for no reason. Ass, like for no murder. reason. Yeah, no, for well, no she was reason. dying anyway. I would count that as murder. Uh, well, uh, according uh, to the maces, which, which, which I still think the maces might be in on yeah, some stuff here. Yeah, but oh, episode yes. one was absolutely amazing. Yeah, you know it, it was exactly what we expect from Game of Thrones. Bloody, but like a lot of intrigue and a lot of like po politics in the background. But somebody's face is getting smashed in. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It's like it's always like, oh man, that's a really good political play. Like next scene. <laughs> so, and, and, and what I'm getting, so. what, what I'm getting out of this is what I got from the original show. At least the beginning of the, when they first started the first show. Yes, it's that ev yeah, every yeah, yeah, yeah. like waiting for Sunday to come up. Like I can't wait for Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I, and I couldn't. I just all week it was on my mind. Like, oh my god. Don't worry, we've can't all wait. Been thinking I'm about there. This. I'm there. Yeah. I, I want to see what's going on. And it seems to have broken some records. You know, it was like 10 million people. So the first episode. Wow. Nice. You know, so that's a good amount of people good. here. You know. Yeah. But I don't want to lie to you guys any more than I have to. Are you guys gonna have any points? No. No. Go I want to go. Right, let's do it. Go. I think we get to the intro today. The intro comes in today. That's it. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, this is dope. Are those the houses? No, those aren't yeah. the symbol of the house, are they? Is it? It looked like it. Look at this. <sighs> they made us wait an extra week for this. <laughs> I feel like I had something to do with like bloodlines. Well, yeah, then I have to go. It, it's, oh. it's, it's a civil war. This is so dope. This is so dope. Are you guys preferring this? Oh. Are you guys prefer this or the map? Dude, it's too this. early to make that decision. Right now, this. Yeah. <laughs> New and it was dope. Oh my god, that was really cool. Oof. Oh, the crab eater. Oh, I think we're at. Yeah. Oh, the crab eater. It's the crab eater. I thought it was. What a hard way to go. Right Oof. Here. Is that a bone? Oh. Yeah, Lee. I thought That's burning horrible. alive was painful. Horrible. Four ships have now been lost. The last one was flying my banner. The Stepstones have now grown into a conflagration, yet you sit here and dither about court business. If you've something to discuss, Lord. I want to know what is to be done about my ships and my men. For revenge. I clear this place up. I want to seize the Stepstones by force and burn out this crab feeder. I am not prepared to start a war with the free cities. These pirates are not the free cities. He did bring it up. The Seven Kingdoms have never entered open war with the free cities. The King's own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and fortify it with an army of his gold cloaks. Damon has squatted there for over half a year without even a protest from the Crown. I'll caution you, Lord Corlys. A seat at the King's table does not make you his equal. Half a year already? I have acted, Corlys. I've sent envoys to Pentos and Volantis to see if we might find common cause. Ships and men are at the ready. You have dragon riders, father. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Send us. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. It isn't that simple, Munera. It would be a show of force. Or at least the princess has a plan. I only meant that we should at least... Perhaps uh, there's some better use for the princess's talents, Your Grace. Really? Why don't you take the princess to see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? A fine idea, Your Grace. Hmm. Get her out of here. It's that... We don't want to hear anything from a woman here. While traveling through the King's Wood on his way to King's Landing, Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. No. no. Next. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do any of these knights have combat experience beyond capturing poachers? Good question. For real. That's a legit question. Sir Kristen Cole. Ooh, I knew it, though. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhaven. They don't like me the son of the steward. You saw combat in the Stormlands. Dornish marches, princess. Sir Arlen Dondarrion knighted me after we raised two of the watchtowers along the burnwall. I choose Sir Kristen Cole. Yep. Oh, easy. Mm -hmm. Well, let us plan Sir Kristen's investiture then. There you go. She's right but wrong at the same time. Because now it's just going to create discontent among the speed. That's uh, true. Who do you want to take in your back? You're right in that it should be somebody with combat experience, but it makes a pull on the political situation. Now they'll be less encouraged to defend the crown. But the blood mages worked their craft. That's the opening. I only pour over the history. Oh, you're right. That is the opening. That that statue, that thing. Do you believe the Westeros can be another Valyria, Your Grace? Well, that depends whether you speak of the Freehold at its height or at its fall. Over a thousand dragons, a navy large enough to span the seas of the world. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Seven hills. <clears throat> what shall we? Tell me, how is Rhaenyra? But these days, she doesn't say more than a few words to me. I think she might find it difficult to discuss personal matters. It will take time. It did when I lost my own mother. Yeah, you killed her mom. She's mad at you. Does she even know? I don't know. I'm not saying yeah. There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than my yeah. new daughter of 15. <laughs> wow. I feel you. I think she would open herself to you if invited. You do have such an easy way about you, Your Grace. You do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? I just, I fear that she wouldn't understand them. No, Your Grace. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like this king. As opposed to Joffrey. <laughs> At the same time, he's weak. Listen, yeah, any, weak. anybody is better than Joffrey. It's only been half a year since my mother died. And already they tried to marry my father off and replace me as heir. You cannot worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. What if your father were to remarry? Mm-hmm. Your father loves you. He chose you for his heir. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. He can't be happy about anything. I think she's still like mad about the mom being dead. Well, it could also just be that she feels like she's being used as a political device. Well, she knows that, because her mom told her that. Exactly. Well, no, I meant, like, not in the sense of just birthing, I meant in the sense that, mm. like, there needs to be an heir, so at least there's one in name, at least. I would kneel in my sleeve would catch out on fire. Your sleeve? Your whole I body would go in flames. You're in the quiet of the sept. I feel close to you. I know it sounds foolish. I don't think it's foolish. Because I thought you might try. If not for me, then perhaps for them. She, <laughs> she reminds me of Arya, where she doesn't want to go by the norm yeah. of what is a expected lot, of them. Like She wants to like yeah. change that path. What do I say? Yeah, she's feeling it right now. Mm. Yep. Uh. I want him to see me as more than his little girl. My own father does not know the language of girls either. When I wish to talk with him, I know that I must make the effort. And she's kind of throwing a little, hey, talk to your dad message there. You guys think she might be actually falling for Viserys? Might I speak plainly, Your Grace? I fear that the eyes of our enemies are presently fixed on the Red Keep. The Queen has passed. A girl has been named heir to the Iron Throne, the first in its history. The King's brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. And now a foreign power has established a colony in our most critical shipping lane. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign. Could you weak? At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it, but you must never await its coming. Mm. 
Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valerian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead, not behind. Mm. I haven't given marriage much thought. It hasn't even been half a year since Emma passed. The realm expects you to take a new wife. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think like it shows her power, you know what I mean? I don't think it's like... Hey, look, but he, that's how vulnerable this man is. We haven't spoken much since... A regret of mine. We should be free to speak our minds to one another. You can say whatever you'd like. You are the king. I loved your mother very much. As did I. Today at small council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. Oh, young. Well, if he's cutting her off like that, she won't be able to. He's trying to talk to you. Maggots. Maggots. That's for his back, probably, right? I thought that was for eating. Oh, his finger. I'm telling you. It's the rust from the swords. Yeah, that's what's killing him. It's not the rust him. from the swords, it's it, from the throne itself. Yeah, it, it's not rust. Oh, well, that's what I'm talking about. The throne is made of swords. I'm sure they're wrong. You're thinking that he's become too comfortable in the throne? And well, so the supposedly, it's prophetic when the sword throne is rejecting you. Yeah. I held an audience earlier today with Lord Corlys and Princess Rhaenys. He proposed a marriage the Lady Lena, to combine the strength of our houses and demonstrate my reign's strongest days are ahead. Such matters must be discussed with a small council. That is what I'm doing. What is your advice, dear Otto? The Lady Lena is young. A match with their daughter would go a long way towards sealing the breach and uniting the two great Valyrian houses would certainly signal unity throughout the realm and beyond. I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her mother has passed. Her father must propagate the royal line. They're putting aside making her an heir. She's, oh, she's too oh, young. She's too no, young. this can't happen. <laughs> that is extreme. What was it like flying the Black Dread? You Valerian's last rider. Only for a short time before he died. With Beleriand died the last memory of Valyria of old. Way too young. It would be a great honor to join our houses, as they were in old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood. Is that what your father told you to say? Yes. Yeah. Rehearsed it. What did your mother tell you? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turned 14. Oh, dear Lord. Which is seven years away. <laughs> oh, it is a strong power move. Politically, it's the move to make. Politically. Oh, absolutely. But, oh, dear lord. You know, honestly, I was kind of leaning towards the idea if I if she ended up being maybe like 18. Yeah. You know, but the fact that she's a young kid. My father is a king. It is his duty to take a new wife and strengthen his line. I did not ask for a lesson in politics. I asked whether this bothers you. Lena is your daughter, princess. Does it bother you? Of course it does. But I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. If you mean to elicit some anger from me, you should know that you're failing, Princess. Quite the opposite. Whether it's to my daughter or to someone else's, your father will remarry. His new wife will produce new heirs. And chances are better than not that one of those will be male. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you. You're just mad you can be queen. No, but she's speaking truths here. It's a male-dominated, you know, they've been saying that it's historically... When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Oh, I wish that could be Rhaenyra. But the men of the realm already had their opportunity to appoint a ruling queen at the Great Council, and they denied it. They denied you, Princess Rhaenys, the queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? <laughs> oh, goodness. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch and see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. Hmm. And your father is no fool. I mean, they've been saying this for, from the beginning. Yeah. More counsel is urging me to remarry. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. She's a smooth talk. She's been working for six months now, though. I brought you something. A dragon. Mm -hmm. That thing he broke? Yeah. This is... Uh... A very kind gesture, Alicent. Very kind. Oh, why are they knocking like that? 
<laughs> what the guards at? What's going on? Should I get my sword? Scorchidosa, Zadrisa, Droman, Tomepsa, Uliroti. Uh oh. Okay. It is the pleasure of Damon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone, and rightful heir to the Iron Throne. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria of Dragonstone. You guy took the whore? Make her a lady? My brother wishes to provoke me. To answer is to give him what he wants. The realm is watching, Your Grace. What would you have me do? Send him to the wall. Perhaps I could put his head on a spike. Scorio Dromon Daemon Leitas. Dromon Hidrozzo Iles Dariloro Dariloro Belo Matsumile Hidrepte Enkono. Ooh. Oh. That's being targeted. Oof. Oh, yeah. Now I will go to Dragonstone and drag Daemon back to face justice Your myself. Grace. But I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Let me go to Dragonstone. I mean. But I don't see Damon killing his brother. But we don't know that, right? I mean... Listen, the man's a loose cannon. Unless Otto's orchestrating these events. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's raw. That, that little... That little... <laughs> that little, that little stronghold. I've assembled 20 of your best household guards, my lord Han. So Harold will also join us. 20 might not be enough again. It's 2,000 gold cloaks, no? Is you want yeah. Damon have... How many dragons? I can't believe that he just went up and took... Dragonstone. He's supposed to be at the Vale. I'm not surprised. Well, yeah, I mean, listen. I'm still saying that yeah, I, at this very moment, I I, I, I I, do love Damon Tiger. I'm like, it's my favorite. Otto's getting it. Okay? Otto reminds me a lot of Tyrion. Uh, not Tyrion, of Tywin. Yeah, I see it. Ty Tywin and maybe a little bit of little, Littlefinger. A little bit. This should be interesting. It should be. It will be. That is definitely not enough, man. Good, yeah, it's not enough, guys. He has a dragon. But if he cloaks. if he attacks these guys, I mean that will be a mistake too. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna have the whole kingdom on you. Unless he yeah, at least at least he was nice enough and met them halfway. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Your occupation of this island is at an end. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, banish your whore. And leave Dragonstone by order of His Grace, King Viserys. Where is the king? I don't see him. His Grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. Yeah, he's just making it worse now. But they don't like each other. They hate each other. Lady Missaria is to be my wife. This is an abomination. With every breath you saw your name, your house, and your brother's reign. Our love does not know titles and traditions. You've come for the egg. Here it is. Are you mad? You've never survived this. Well, happily, neither would you. To choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. Oh, dear lord. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. Hmm. Oh, I don't backed up a little bit. You look a little scared. Why is the maester there? Oh! Why oh. would he bring that dragon out? That's just dude, what, that's, what do you think? Whose pit bull is that? Whose pit is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh what my did goodness. What's gonna happen? Otto truly played the wrong card. Another dragon? Venera? It's right oh. here. Oh. Yeah. She took matters into her own hands. Why is she here? To even the odds? Karlaxis? I don't think is it bigger than this one. You're right. That's Syrax, right? That's Syrax and then Karaxis is the red one. The ugly... No, it's a baby next to the... Uh, come on. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, a dragon's a dragon at that point, come on. She's making the peace. Yeah. She's gonna grab the egg. I think you're right. Because this would be a war. This would be a, this would be a big disaster right here. Kesu Uglaisa, Luon Zombaz, Mianukon Isa. Indrari on Orion Dawor, Tubi Maneri, Nike de Nikla. A Praziri Ziriema. Trebdan Li Dawor. Sekedjus sut Nukon Vronkron, Drom on Laudigon Ao Belvitas. Pipot Sadra Zomi Mazum Vilo Vule, Konir Nuhoruho, Sut Thailand. Sekilat. Vasilari Tubi. One day, oh, she's not even pregnant. 
She isn't pregnant. I'm right here, Uncle. The object of your ire. The reason that you were disinherited. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it. Hmm. Your own niece? I bet he loves her too much. Legitimacy. That's the word I was looking for. Oh. oh. Her coming gave legitimacy now to Damon to truly be seen as a threat. Well, he is a threat. Well, yeah, but now to the common people, he it could be seen as the king's weak. I don't want to take these guys out. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to die for that way. I don't was about to die. Otto was gonna get. They were all gonna get killed. A public hanging, practically. And by the way, that little comment that Christian called me. That was funny. It's funny, but I don't think he's gonna forget that. Oh no, definitely not. Yeah, you didn't hey, do it. Hey, she made a statement. Yeah. The thing is, God, the fact that there are so many people there too, he can't just say that it was him. I don't think I don't think her dad's yeah, about to be head people. I don't think her dad sent them either. He's about to beat somebody. I think she done her own. This is not over, guys. So she's not even pregnant? All this? No, she's not she's even pregnant? Not. This is all the show, man. You announced that we were to be wet? Yeah, oh, she, she didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah, she didn't even know by her, by that look. You supposed to protect me, Demo. <laughs> And she made her, she, he made her a target. He made her a target. A big one. His men might not put the prince's head on a spike, but what would they do with the commoner he claims he's taken to? No, forget about it. You're gonna be dragon feed. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. That's all I would ever give, Your Grace. Lena Valarian. Lord Corliss is your master of ships, and she is the eldest daughter of the wealthiest house in the realm, and she has Targaryen blood. What's to miss like? She is twelve. She will mature. Oh, ew. Ew. That's two more years away. <laughs> what if I was to reject Lord Corliss' proposal? He would not be like to take it well. I fear nothing short of a direct line to the Iron Throne would satisfy him. The Sea Snake has made a calculated reach, a fair play for a man of his position. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion... I do. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. It is a smart thing to do, but 12 years old... ...has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone? I knew he, I knew he didn't send her. Oh, he's There's no way he sent her. On Dragon, she made her own statement. Hey, he was doing his duty. You disobeyed me. Are you crazy? You fled King's Landing without a word, and you acted without the crown's leave. You are my only heir. You could have been killed. Yeah, I said. That made him look, look even weaker, don't you think? That whole problem over there at Dragonstone? Mm -hmm. That she had to come in? Unless yeah. they're making it... More of like a game plan. And retrieve the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Well, I sometimes forget how alike you both were. Your mother's absence is a wound that will never heal. Without her, the Red Keep has lost a warmth and I dare say it will never recover. It pleases me to hear you say this. To know that I'm not alone. In my grief. Oh, she probably thought that he was cold-hearted about it. I struggled to realize that my daughter had so quickly become a woman grown. But I know she understands what is now expected of me. The king must take a new wife. I could never replace your mother. No more than I intend to replace you as heir. But you are my only heir. And our line is vulnerable, too easily ended. And by marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Against whom? Whomever may dare to challenge us. Everyone. I do not wish to make us estranged. You are the king, and so your first duty is to the realm. I think she understands it, she just doesn't wish it in her heart. It hurts to think of. And I think they, they do love the king, because he's, he's a kind man. He's not evil, he's not belligerent, you know, he's not a tyrant. He's just weak. But he wants to maintain the peace, like he doesn't want to make, you know, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to do any type of force. No tough calls. Good morrow, my lords. I have decided to take a new wife. Allison. I intend to marry the Lady Allison Hightower. Oh. This is an absurdity. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your king. He just spat on your face. Yeah. 
his look makes me want to punch him. Unlike the Targaryens, we were no dragon lords. For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea with grit and luck. You mean it was Crab King? When I ascended the Driftwood throne, I knew what I wanted, so I went out and seized it. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. Damon. I've always thought of you as a crab. I think it's crab feeder. From the same cloth. Oh no, it might be Damon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Come on Things now. Things are gonna get done. Come on now, he can marry his daughter. We're both men who have had to cut our own way through the world. We've been passed over too often. Did you call me to Driftmark to remind me of my low standing, Lord Corliss? Or was there some other reason? You've heard of the troubles in the Step Steps? Some nearish prince is feeding Westrossi sailors to the crabs. And he has the power to fix that. Yeah, he does. Dragon. And... Go cloaks. Gold the cloaks. ships. I have been petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory, but he's denied me. It was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. The crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within the free cities who wish to see Westeros weakened. Oh. If those shipping lanes fall, my house will be crippled. I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and tourneys. I will speak of my brother as I wish. You will not. You see, he loves his brother. Waiting in the stepstones. It's a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. We are the realm's second sons, Damon. Our worth is not given, it must be made. It's two episodes of Lord of His Power Place, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, he ugly. And he's dying to cut people up. He's just dying to cut people up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Nah, that was. That, that was. That was. That was Oh my god, the wheels are turning, gentlemen. Dude, dude, dude. The dude. wheels are turning. Yeah, they're turning, they're turning. Yeah, I didn't expect that move from Carlos. Yeah, you know, right. I, I said that, like, who can he be talking? It's not going to be, definitely not going to be Otto, because Otto you know, just got what he wanted. And like, the only person he could talk to would be uh, Damon, Damon, because, Damon. and I can see if that happens. Well, and I, Damon want to say no to his, to his daughter. I don't see that. Yeah. You know, I can see him wanting to get that power from the house. Despite his brother. Wow. Wow, God. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent episode. For Damon, that move is honestly too good not to play. Correct. Yeah. That that's that's exactly what he needs. Yeah. Just be, gets... just being a dragon stone, stealing egg, and being a, 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 with his girl is not enough. Yeah. Exactly. No. Yeah, yeah. No. no, it gives legitimacy firstly to his claim to the air to the throne. Second, it displays the power that he has and controls. And thirdly, it shows that he can actually make a hardened decision when needed. So even though he's a loose cannon, he's a better choice to be king. With the backing of the sec of the most powerful, the richest family in yeah, the in the exactly. kingdom. Exactly. And now that they also we've had we had Rhaenyra go to him and actually need to step in, it shows that he's a big enough problem to the crown that they actually need to send an official who's higher than the hand of the king. Otto cannot handle Damon. No, 100%. no, no, absolutely not. And, and obviously the king can't either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one person who can handle him. Though this Otto's is, play is. with Alicent was was good. It was three steps ahead because he knew Corlys was going to try that. And the only way to counteract that was to have another high, high house lady who could actually give um, a thought as to who else besides uh, Lady Linnea. But the thing is, the theories too that I was mentioning as well is because when he was talking to his daughter, he was saying, like, I need to make our line stronger. If you die, that's it. Their, their, their line are, is cut. So at that point, when it came to the theory, just like Julian was talking about, he can't wait two years. That girl's 12 years old. Mm -hmm. and, not, let, let, and let's not forget that he's also, like, injured. He's, like, he's, he's festering. Yeah. Yeah. He's festering. Now... I already knew he was going to be with Allison because I read I read the books, so mm -hmm. I knew it was going to happen. How it was set up wasn't that wasn't too clear. And I'm still happy that you guys didn't know that, you know. So it's like you guys are like, yeah. oh, what a move, what a move. Um, but it was kind of it's weird, a 12 year old. Yeah, I'm you know, it, it, it's you can't you can't blame the king 
for the decision, even though it's not the best decision. No. Yeah. The best decision is the 12 year old, and that's a hard choice that, like, Mm. Who was the? It's who, weird. He was. Who was that one kid that took command of a household and like she was like Lady Mormont. Lady, Lady Mormont. She. But that's a different. Yeah, Lady, I know. I know. That's a different. Lady Mormont. She was strong. Empowered. She was stronger than half the North by herself. Yeah. Yeah. It was her voice. You know? <laughs> so it's like if we're talking about little kids, if it's something where for a figure like that, then no. But the difference is that know, Lady Mormont was the lady of the house. This girl is the idea of becoming a baby factor. Yeah, correct. That yeah. that's two two very different situations and stations in in, in, in game. I'm gonna go, go away from the political here. I feel bad for Rhaenyra. Like Rhaenyra, like her uncle gone. You know, can't really hang out with him no more. Yeah. I feel bad for like best friend gone. Father hates. Yeah. I'm like, dude. If I was Rhaenyra, like I I wouldn't even know what to do at this point. I'm like. Like, Rhaenyra is on her own island right now. Like, she, she's on her own island. She can't go to her father, she can't go to her best friend, and she can't go to her uncle, which are literally, literally the three closest people to her. So it's yeah. like, dang, this sucks. But the queen who never was, was giving her facts. Yeah, was well, giving her 100% facts. You know, as much as she didn't want to hear it, and it was bothering her. But even then, I wouldn't trust the queen... Who never was. Who never was that much because she still, no, she still has, she still wants to she's, still, she's, she's part of House Valeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, they, they want to make a power move. They, they are making power moves. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I, open war, you can see that this, these years of peace that your hair has had, what, uh, uh, um, is his name, Rainey's? King Rainey, what, what's his name? The King of the King. Uh, Guys, the forgive series. me. Viserys. He's also a peaceful king, peacetime king. Yeah. So throughout this peace, War is dropping seeds. Yeah. The idea of war is gonna happen, you know. So who knows? Season two, season three, season four, it's gonna be nothing but war. Yeah, you know? and it's not, this is all based on the civil war. But it's funny how do you see you see it. I mean, if you if you if you're in the king in the in the council and you see what's going on, something's gonna happen. Yeah, it's a yeah. It's, it's a powder keg about to go off. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you yeah. know. Oh yeah, yeah. And not to mention that you got these these uh, the, the the these other kingdoms from, uh, the, from the east. Coming in and hitting, hitting, hitting up your land, you know. So, I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. I'm loving oh, yeah. everything but about no, like, it. For real, who's ready for like the true introduction of the like of the crab feeder? I'm dying for like actually seeing who that like, guy is. Like I want to see the like, actual <laughs> dialogue because that's saw his face. I'm like, dude, this guy is like mutant. I, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> was that him? That, that was. Yeah, it looked like it. It looked like him. I like I, I, they introduced like, him like I it was, was him. wearing people's faces. Yeah, like, I wonder if he has anything to do with the deep gods. Like, you know, like, the it was the Greyjoys that had uh, connections with the, the drown gods. god. Yeah, yeah the drown god, god my bad. Drown gods. Yeah, I wonder if he has some kind of connection with that because of his crab like features and whatnot. No, I think the drown gods are, are, are strictly an, an Iron Island thing. Like, mm -hmm. they're, they're very Viking. I think that's just that area there. Okay. And he's got to come in from East. This is yeah, like in Westeros. East, whereas this is, this is from uh, this here, is from Essos. This is here. Uh, so, it, it may or may not. I think this is just. This is a proxy war. This is the free cities attacking Westeros through yeah. proxy. Mm -hmm. You know, so they, they're just funny this to see who's going to do what, yeah. you know? But I think next week we're going to see the nuke fly over everybody, take them out. We're going to see the ships destroy everybody oh, else. Please. And the king is be like, I didn't ask for this. Well, who know what? And they're like, well, big deal. Yeah. We don't care what you ask for. Yeah. You can't make a decision by yourself. You can't even wipe your ass by yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. You know? That, that's right. And by the way. Yeah, Viserys is the weakest king ever, by the way. How great was that scene on Dragonstone with Otto and Damon with the egg Amazing. and the tension that was going on? When the, when the swords drew, I, I didn't expect to see uh, Karaxis uh, Kar come out. I'll get used to these names very soon, guys. Forgive me. When he popped out, I was like, oh, what are these guys going to do? They ain't going to get these guys in. They're not getting this egg. They're not getting, getting this egg. Honestly, I didn't see your Rhaenyra coming out. Like, I, oh, I, I, was, like, I, I was like... This is war. Like, next episode, we're going to war. We're, we're seeing dragons going against yeah, dragons okay. here. Like, I, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, in my head, I was like, damn, that's really messed up. But I was like, I really want this to happen. And I was like, I really want this to happen. I want this to happen but so it, it, bad. Is, it is, like, slowly turning the tension on. Yeah. You know, just, like, it's like, like it's turning building. that it's wheel. It's building slowly, slowly. Cut it a little bit more and more. It's just going to get... 
It's going to be smooth. It's just going to be smooth. With the turning of the wheel, it goes back to kind of like the opening, how it had each co uh, cog start to turn with blood running through yeah. it. Yeah. To show how, like... By the way, what about that, that opening? Amazing. That opening? You're right. You're right. That opening. Oh, my God. Well, and, and I'm glad you pointed it out because I, I think you're I think you're right about the, 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 that, that, that set that, that he's yeah, working yeah, on. What, 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 man, I forgot what it was called, man. It's like It was something about Old Valeria. Like, this is something like a remnant of Old Valeria or something like that and about somebody like some Masons. And I was like, wait, as soon as I saw it, because I saw the, the vigil, like the last vigil, yeah, you know, the last yeah. one where it all comes into the Targaryen household, I was like, that's that. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Like the stone masons. And then, but now if you see that, and like now use that as when the dragon fell too. Like, like, oh! that's what I mean. Like, because like, I know, I know, from what I know from Game of Thrones, like little, there's like little hints everywhere. Like there's like little Easter eggs. I'm like, yeah. now the dragon fell. Like it's a foreshadowing thing. It's like, oh, oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm, one, I'm wondering if they're going to keep with the tradition of the the penultimate episode being like, oh my god, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they do that this year, you know? Uh, How you many got, episodes this season? Uh, I don't know. I know they, they usually were, they were usually 10, so I'm assuming it's going to be 10 uh, uh, if they stick to that tradition. I don't know, but we'll find out. Uh, I do... Um, oh my god, that threw me off. I just had something to say. But I do know it should be about 10 episodes, I'm sure. Oh, that's right. Today, I, I don't know if today or yesterday, they announced that they renewed ready for second season two. Which we can't. Uh, but we kind of knew that was going to happen. Oh, absolutely. That was a given. Yeah, 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 right. Are you episode? kidding me? Are you kidding me? But wow. Anyway, guys, this was fantastic. I am happy that we're back. I feel like we're back to the old days, the way things were. It's, it's an old Game of Thrones with new people, a new plot, a new story. And I tell you what. It is great. It is yeah. All right. This is a new soup of the day, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is so good. I'm loving Just everybody. So much is going on. So much is going on. And, then, and this is all happening in, in King of Land. Like, we don't have to worry about at least much of going further out. This is a couple houses involved. By There's the way, not like a million houses. I'm going to throw a little another seed here. Who's excited to like see more dragons? Like, I'm oh, not. please, come on. they control 10. They control <laughs> Targaryen could control 10. I think there was, in the beginning, it was like there were 17, and they could control 10 of them. Well, I think they said, I know you said 17, I, I heard 19, and, but I know and I heard 10. season one will, will show 10 of them. But I know right. they control 10. I, I know, know the Targaryens, because that I clearly... They control them. all of them. That, no, but I thought they had, like, no. Well, there's them. nobody else has dragons, only Targaryens. I, I, I thought the two, I thought Corlys is two... No, no dragons. Oh, they got boats. Only Targaryens have... But remember, it, 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 it be quiet. Watch the show. There's only... I don't want to give up. I might spoil stuff I don't want to no, spoil. I just realized There's only right. one dragon that they're not in control of. And it's that big mother chucker. From, that, um, that made Vegar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they were still, like, they control the control oh, dragon no, you're before. Talking about, you're talking about Rhaegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Vigar, so there's yeah. that one dragon that nobody has seen. That, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm more curious about that one. Because I know he's going to be, like, probably going to take, like, three dragons to probably kill him. You're talking about like a, an avatar situation where it, it comes back <laughs> yeah. like with the like, right air or freaking three or two or four yeah. to take one. This is this is turning out really good. I like this is, as much as people might think, and I don't know, I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing. This is a slow burn. This is not, to me, this is not a slow burn at all. Yeah, I don't know where. And, and it's not fast, but it is perfect. Yeah. It is pacing perfect. perfectly perfect. yeah. where you're like ready to see what's happening. The only problem we have is that this comes to an end. After like 50 minutes, you know, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh I have to wait till next Sunday and all. But anyway, guys, uh, if you like what we're doing, guys, please do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You appreciate, we will appreciate if you do that. If you like what we're doing here, if you have any comments you would like to add to what we're talking about in our conversations, please feel free to leave in the comments, you know. Uh, what do you think? Do you think I don't have a chance at uh, Dragon Keep? Do you really think so? Do you think that uh, uh, Lokoris and, and uh, Daemon are going to team up? Are they going to be a power move? Are they going to be a power, uh, a power couple? A powerhouse? You know, a powerhouse between the both of them. You think that's going to happen? Uh, next episode, I'm almost sure that we're going to see some battles. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. we're going to see the, what, what, what the crab man made of. You know, somebody, 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 somebody's the battle. The crab somebody's might, we're going to find out what the crab feed is all about. I believe so. But anyway, guys, listen. Uh, this episode will be on our Patreon. We have a Patreon, guys. You can see this episode and the first episode completely unedited for a dollar a month. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you don't have to do that. You know, these episodes, of course, are free. We also have a merch page where in the description you're going to find what we sell. And it'll be very nice you guys can support us for what we're doing here, guys. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We are RNIs. I am Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. And I'm Michael. Guys, take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Stay safe. Bye.